Hello, welcome back to Sadie's Diaries. Thank you for clicking on this video on today's episode of Living and Thriving. I'm just going to talk about the Valentine's Day. How was Valentine's Day at your end? How was it? How was it? Please let me know in the comment section how it went. Um, I don't know if this is a thing, but I mean, happy post Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy post Valentine's Day. Today, I just want to talk about some things that stood out for me, that has stood out for me like um, over the years and also stood out for me in this year's Valentine's Day. It wouldn't be a waste of your time. I promise you that this would help you, you know, free your mind, relax yourself, and just take one or two tips that will make your journey lighter. Remember, we live and we thrive. We're going right into it the valentine's day it's an awesome day i mean a day set aside to celebrate love it's just a basic time to be happy a basic time to show um, people that you care about them or show the one that you care about him or her looking at valentine's day uh, for someone in a relationship be it a marriage or you know a dating courting phase i I have been asking myself a particular question because I saw some people that were so mad because their partners did not give them a gift. This is a valid concern and I'm not trying to um, belittle anybody's experience. I am not trying to, you know, um, judge anybody here. I'm just really concerned. I saw some people say that, I, I see comments in some um, social media pages of people saying, oh, if my boyfriend doesn't give me Valentine's gift, that means he doesn't care. That means that's the end of the relationship in my girlfriend doesn't do things that means she doesn't care but it's more of more, more of the comments as you know more things they've heard are towards the man if the man doesn't do it, it means he doesn't care if the man doesn't do it, it means he's doing it for somebody else please where are all this coming from like i am honestly curious like who feeds us with all this there are two ways to look at this really um in no particular order i'll just take my point about such school of thoughts firstly is this how the person has always been I'm, I'm not even just referring to Valentine's Day. Is this someone that actually, in other ways, shows that he cares or she cares? Is this someone that has been there for you over time? Is this someone that even in your dream, you can tell that, oh, this person cares? If that is the case, why will the event of a day, you know, now destroy the relationship? Or why would you make such a decision just because of a day? What of the other days the person has chosen to pour his or her love on you? Why would you say because the person did not reach out on Valentine's Day, meaning the person is showing love to someone else? I'm saying this from the angle of the, um, someone who doesn't have such past record, someone who you know has been hands-on in this relationship. Please cut the person some slack. That's firstly. Secondly, if it's a case where, you know, the person the person doesn't really show that he cares, you've already entered one chance with this person. Not necessarily one chance, but you are just, you know, in this journey with this person and the person probably might not even be a gift giving person generally, but in your mind you're like, even if you're not a gift giving person, this is that time of the year that you should go out of your way to just show your loved one that you care. Um, there are different angles to also look at that perspective have you communicated it in a way that both of you would understand because one of the things that cause issues in relationships is lack of understanding misunderstanding lack of proper communication have you people sat down to discuss these things have you communicated your expectations to him or her have, are you people on the same page as regards oh this is my way of doing things and this is my style my style might not be the best but you know hands on deck i'm trying to be better um, is that also in place because you know, so we, we, we can't just put the full responsibility on someone who has been that way all their lives. You jump into their life and you expect an overnight change. Let's actually be calming down. <laughs> really, let's actually be calming down. Another way to look at this is you that you are the expectant person, the awaiting. <laughs> you, the expectant person, the one saying, if my partner doesn't do this, I'm going to do this. If my partner doesn't do that calm down what have you done in the relationships as well what standards have you set you know sometimes you the, your attitude will spoil someone else's um reaction or spoil someone else's attitude i'm not putting the responsibility totally on you do not get me wrong but i'm saying if you actually take a step back and do an introspective examination ask yourself what have you been contributing in that regards do you also go out of your way to make your partner feel loved do you go out of your way to make your partner know that you care and if it's the case that you've not this is not you know calling you out it's just saying that 
when we set expectations for people we ourselves should you know have met or even surpassed those expectations just so it will be a fair level playing ground and to my singles out there well that time is coming <laughs> where is your boyfriend no pressure no pressure if you're a single person one thing i would say is in times like this where love is all over the place please guard your heart please guard your space so you don't see yourself doing things that you regret you know because of the mushy things you see online and you know the sweet sweet stuff you see you are tempted to put yourself in the shoes oh i can't wait it's a good thing to you know look forward to some of these good things i would say guard your space do not say oh because of the tension or the pressure you are receiving from people around you or from social media you pick up your phone and start testing that x you're trying to get over or you're trying to take a decision that you regret in the future it's just a day do not let it ruin your entire life do not let it ruin your recovery journey some of you are actually just recovering you're just healing right if you need to even take break off social media remember to take that break at the end of the day social media is a social interaction platform some of these couples you see yes yeah, some of them are truly happy and truly joyful but you don't know the ones that they are not talking to themselves but just for the gram you know they come they dress up they write lovely captions and you in your corner you are crying that oh god there's no oh god right there you are the one allowing these things get to you they are just sharing the bright parts of their lives you know you just focus on being a happy person for yourself and with time like it will be your turn as well or it will be our turn as well be genuinely happy for those around you but once you see that you're crossing the line from just being genuinely happy to having some form of envy or jealousy flee right really flee just guard your heart basically don't let these things get to you such that you cross the line from oh i would love to you know take this particular picture this type of angle with my partner someday don't let it cross from that point to a point of envy when you envy the people whatever it is that you envy at the moment you know you can't just take a part of the person's life and you don't know the entirety of the person's life so when you envy him ask yourself are you ready to take the entirety of this person's life the one that nobody knows on social media the one that nobody knows on the ground if you're not ready to take the entirety of the person's life then don't just envy a part of the person's life. So when you see that you're crossing from, you know, being genuinely happy for people showing love, you're crossing the path to um, being envious or nurturing jealousy, I would just advise that whatever you need to do, um, quit um, social media for some hours or if it's a particular environment you are in that is fueling such emotions, probably take a break from that environment, like just leave for some hours so that you have your sanity. In all, Valentine's season is a season to show love. I would say show love to yourself and also show love to um, those around you. Let them feel loved. Let them know that you care through your actions, through your words, through your, your inactions as well. Finally, I'll conclude with this. You need to be a whole individual and you need to have experienced love to be able to truly show love. If you've never experienced true love, you might find it hard to show love. And guess who I want to talk to you about? You know him already. My friend, his name is Jesus. He is the first um, and absolute best love you can ever have. Experiencing him would introduce love to you in a different light and will make it easier for you to also share love to those around you. I'll conclude with my happy post Valentine's Day. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just here wishing you happy post Valentine's Day. I also know, want to know your comments. You know, these are my thoughts. I would also like to know your thoughts about the things I have spoken about. Do you agree? Do you disagree? We can all learn from each other. Remember to share this to those you think this would help. And remember to subscribe if you haven't. I don't know where the subscribe button is, but remember to. Please subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.